Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai. So you would say Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing His word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is Brother um, Zion Amoth from the GMS Detroit Bike Camp. All right. I want to do another video today. You know, Lord willing, it'll be you know quick. But um, uh, uh, on a verse that I stumbled upon that I don't often hear come out, you know, dealing with the color of the most high, you know, as far as being a, a so-called black man, and that, um, you know, I feel through the spirit that it is clear, you know, if, if, you, if you had the spirit on you to read the scripture, you know, it's obvious that the, um, the most high is a so-called black man without a shadow of a doubt, you know what I'm saying, and that's, that's these that's all these nations worst fear all right that the, the most high the power of all of the universe as well as his son all right coming back to wreak havoc all right and to recompense those that troubled the israelites you know being a so-called black man you know that's that's gonna have these nations shook man and you know i just rejoice you know when i read the scripture it's just it's just you know it, it really touched my spirit you know that we know that we have a power that looks like us and is for us, you know, that he's on our side, you know. We the underdogs right now, but the most high is about to change all that around, you know what I'm saying? Because hey, we the apples of the we the apples of the most high's eye, you know. He chose us out of all the nations on the earth and hey man, that's that's like that's beautiful. You know, he could have picked anybody, but he chose us. So called Negroes, Latins and Native Americans. So the water you have by Shim you have a shy for that, you know. But um real quick, I kinda wanna just build up. Um, I'm gonna start with this is uh Revelation one and one. All right, it says the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, because you know, Jesus is not his name, all right. We we speak the Hebrew, but we call on the most high and his son in the Hebrew it has more power. All right. But it says, the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants thing which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So you can see the order in that. You know, it's one man that's telling another man that's telling another man. Like the Most High is about order, it's about a hierarchy. All right? He's the king of, the, of all of the universe. So he doesn't have to do anything, all right? He sets men up, all right, to do his bidding, you know? I mean, what what else would you do, you know? If you're a boss, you know, you don't have to be hands-on, you know? You have you have servants for that. That's what the Most High is doing here. So it said the, re the revelation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, meaning the, the revealing, the pulling back the veil, the uncovering, all right? Because uh, pursuant to um, um, Job 9 and 24, you know, the hand is given into the hand of the wicked. And he covered the faces of the judges thereof, right? So here we got, we got in the end of the book, the end of the Bible, right? The last book of the Bible where the Most High, through his son and through his angel and his servants, he's revealing any lies that might have been covered up, you know, um, um, going into the end time because you know revelation also did deals with the end of days all right it's dealing with the end the end of this world meaning the end of this age the end of the white man ruling okay now so you know for for those that's that may be new to this or what have you all right um in this same chapter all right um I'll just skip down to it. I'm not going to read it. But, um, you know, you can read yourself on your own time. But Revelations, you know, uh, I would say 1, 14, and 15, you know, goes into the image of who the world call, calls Jesus Christ. Right? And also in that same book, it talks about his father. You know what I'm saying? But if you didn't know, the, the, the image of, of so-called Jesus all right, is is um, a man of color, all right? Just you know, he's a man of color, just like his father. You know what I'm saying? You have that saying to chip off the old block. 
You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, that's why it's a, it's a custom in in our um, heritage to, um you know, have seniors and juniors, you know what I'm saying, the thirds, the fourths, this, that, and the other, because um, it was common for the um, the progeny or, you know, the sons to take on the name of their fathers, you know. They would just keep the same name, you know, whether it be, I don't know, you know, John or Charles or, you know, whatever have you, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, Charles the first, Charles the second, third, on down, you know. But, you know, going back to that chip off the old block, meaning, you know, you're just a, um, a, a micro version of your father, you know what I'm saying? You and your father are, are like, you know, you, you hear it sometimes. Some people say, man, you know, y'all look like twins, you know, when you're fathering to the, a father and son because the son came out of the father. The same way with Yahweh Shai, you know. He came from the father. The, the, the heavenly father um, created Yahweh Shai as the firstborn of every creature, okay? But, um, so, you know, you can read this on your own time, but... Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna jump straight into it. You know the um, the the revealing right of the Most High, and this is Revelation four and three. Well, you know what? I'm i I'll start at one and read down. All right. So this is Revelation four and one. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, <laughs> and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said, Come up hither, and I will show show thee things which must be hereafter. All right? So John is seeing this all through the spirit and he's documented. And you, you can you can um you can also read that in the first chapter of Revelation that you know um through through the angel, the angel told him to write everything out, to write what you see. Right? So here in the fourth chapter, this is what he saw through the spirit. It says, And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne, all right? So this is a man, all right, with a body sitting on the throne, all right? Which is, uh, you know, basically going into the chariots, you know? That's how the most high and the angels get around, all right? You know, in style, they, they fly on chariots, so-called UFOs, all right? Now it says, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in sight like unto an emerald. All right. So what? What my, the point I want to point out is that you know what John saw the appearance of of him that saw on the throne, the one that sat on the throne, is the Most High Himself. You know who the word calls God. You know, all right, Jehovah, and Yahweh, and all this. But his real name is Yahweh meaning he to be or he exists or he is okay he's the one that's sitting on this throne in in his majesty in his glory all right now he said what he saw he said he said and he that sat was to look upon a jasper and a sardine stone and you know this struck me because you know i've read this this verse you know several times but you know never thought to like actually look up Look up the stones. Like, what What are these stones? What do they look like? All right, so I'm going to get it right quick. You say jasmine and sardine, right? So, let's see. So, we have jasper 2393. 2393. Ispis. You know, a jasper stone, it says, <coughs> this is in the Greek, by the way, jasper, a precious stone of various colors. For some are purple, others blue, others green, and others the color of brass. All right, what's the color of brass? The color of brass is brown. All right. It, matter of fact, when you speak, when you, uh, you know, when you read about the revelation of, uh, you know, who the world calls Jesus, it talks about him being um, basically burnt brass, as if it's burned in a furnace, you know. So basically, you know that it's, it's, it goes hand in hand and one in the same. 
right? So, but now it's it did it mentioned jasper as well as sardine. So that's like black on black, meaning the Most High is 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 full of melanin. He's full of color. All right, he's not uh, pale like these so-called white people out here. You know, he ain't, he ain't looking like you know <laughs> one that's half dead or undone. All right, to have color means that you have um, a dominant gene. All right. And who more so than the Most High? That's the creator of everything. So we have here that Jasper is the color of brass because we have to use common sense, okay? John was looking at a guy that, you know, looked like the Smurfs, you know, <laughs> the color blue or green or, or purple or, or any of this. He was the color of brass. And again, it put the two stones together, so you have to imagine that he was really dark. You know? Now, so we have brass. Let's get the other word. We said jasper and a sardine stone. So, let's see. Sardine, this is in the Greek, 4555. All right. Strong's G, 4555, sardinas. 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 Thayer's yep. lexicon, related entry, Sardion. Sardion. All right. And it says, a sardius, a, a precious stone, of which there are two types. The former is called a carnelian because flesh colored, and the latter a sard. All right. It said the former. Now, isn't the most high the form of all things? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Right? Now, you said because the carnelian, you know that word carnelian, you think about the word carnal, or carnal, what they have uh, uh, down in Mexico, or what, Taco Bell, you know, carne asada, you know what I'm saying? Talking about, you know, uh, flesh and meat, all right? Hey, you know we like our meat, you know, well cooked, well done, which is brown. Right, flesh is brown, right? Uh, uh, the, uh, the, um, the the only to be a human or to have flesh, you have to have pigment, you have to have melanin, all right? So, since you know that John saw, you know, so called black man, you know, sitting in this chair, sitting on the throne, all right? Very deep, dark, complected, um, you know, individual, spirit, entity, all right? Now, so just to back that up with another precept, all right, this is, um, let's get Daniel. I really like that scripture too. This is Daniel, all right, because Daniel basically saw the same thing, okay? And this is Daniel 7 and 9. It says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, all right, which is the most high. Yahweh, he is, all right, he's older than time itself. He's the author of time. You have the term in the word, you know, father time. You know what I'm saying? That's talking about the most high, Yahweh, you know, whose garment was white as snow, referring to his righteousness, all right. And he said, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Now you go anywhere on the planet, it's like who has woolly hair? You know? Who who is that? Which lets you know, like, this is all the most high. This is his show. This is his movie, man. He made these things distinctly on purpose to um to um, you know, signify who's who in the earth. And you know, and if you're reading the scriptures and you had the spirit. On you to um, understand, you know, history and prophecies, you'll know who this book is pertaining to exclusively, right? It says, whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. Again, referring to the chariots. He said the hair on his head like the pure, pure wool, wool, you know, sheep's wool. And that's the so-called black man, so-called Negro, African-American, if you will. All right? But that's not who we are. We're Israelites. All right? Um, 
another verse I can get. Alright, so this is the Heavenly Father himself. Right? And this is his son. Like I said, chip off the old block. So if if who the world calls Jesus is, is dark skinned, why wouldn't his father be dark skinned? Right? He was made in his image. Right? So this is uh what I want, ten, five, and six. Yep, this is Daniel ten and five. It says, and Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of euphaz. His body was like the burl, all right, referring to his, um, his clothing, his garment, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire, and his, um, and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass, right? Now, I read, um, you know, in Revelation 4 and 3, when it's talking about the um, jasmine stone, you know, it, meant it, it, it mentioned brass, one of the colors of that stone being brass. So this lines up, you know, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Right. So, again, he's a chip off the old block. So if his son is so-called black man, so, so must his father be. Right. And just to back that up. Right, you have a shot it said out of out of his own mouth, you know. This is uh, when he was here in the flesh as a so-called human being. Um, let's see, what is that? It's Matthew. I think it's Matthew. No, I believe it's John. I'm trying John. So like you. Kind of, yeah, Philip. Because, y'all, yeah, Philip, he desired to see, to see the Father, to see the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, that's, that's every, I think we've all had that inclination, you know. You want to know what the power, you know, especially when you're in the world, you want to know, you know, you know, who created you? Like, what does he look like? What does he sound like? You know, like, who is he? You know, you desire to see that. You know that. So, you know, same with Philip here. You know, it's asking Yahweh Shah. I'm going to just read it. It says, um, let's see. I started, this is John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Let you know there's two different entities. All right, you have the Father and you have the Son. All right, the only way you can get to the Father is by going through the Son. And that's why we say Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, the Most High in the name of the Son. All right, because... Um, the son, Yahweh Shai, he's our mediator. He's our go-between, right? Because the Father is not dealing with us as a nation right now because of our wickedness of us going off, you know, and um, turning away from the Most High. So he had to set up his son, you know, as a, um, basically as a sacrificial lamb, you know, to shed his blood, you know, for the sins of Israel, to bring back the elect, you know, to the Father. But anyhow, it says that um, if you had known me, you should have known my father also, right? And from henceforth you know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the father, and it sufficeth for us. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? <laughs> Hey, that's what I retort. Like, man, I've been with you all this time. You gonna act like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know who the father is. You don't know what he look like. You know what I'm saying? Like, you seen, hey, I'm gonna just read. It says, he that have seen me have seen the father. And how says thou then show us the father? Believest thou not that I am in the father and the father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. 
but the but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Okay. You know, so that's the point. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So what does that mean? I look just like my dad. I'm a chip off the whole block. You know? I look just like my father. Yahweh Shai is essentially a junior. You know? He's he's the son of the king, making him a prince. And yet, you know, ergo, you know, king of kings. But, um, you know, I just thought that was a beautiful scripture, you know, that Revelation 4 and 3, man. Because, and you know, I brought it out because, I, you know, I personally don't hear it. I don't hear it come out a lot, you know. So through the spirit, you know, this this makes it clear to the world who, hey, <laughs> what these nations have in store, who they dealing with. You know what I'm saying? When you get that so-called white image out your head of God being white and the angels being white, Jesus being white and all that. All right, it's a whole nother can of worms you're dealing with now. You know what I'm saying? All right, we, we down here in this hell hole. And you know that you and people know the the the, the um the veracity, the, the fierceness that we have as a people. So how much more the Heavenly Father? Like, we have emotions, hey, because, you know, the Most High put that in us. So why wouldn't he have emotions? You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't he get upset about things? So when he come back, hey, he coming to bring straight pain to this to this place. All right? Straight judgment to this place for all the wickedness that's done in the midst thereof, you know? So, hey, with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to your alchemist, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Throughout the four corners of the earth, shut them off.